Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, first off, I just would like to say I don't wear this top all the time. I know this has been in the last few <laughs> videos of mine, but I tend to film on one day, so this is why I do wear other tops. Um, so today's video will be the mummy tag. I've been nominated by the lovely Stephanie Budsky, and I will be nominating other mummy vloggers um, at the end of this video. So uh, the mummy tag is 20 questions that I've been given and I have to answer. So I hope you enjoy. If you're new to my channel um, please do hit subscribe If you and if you like the video give me a thumbs up. Um, I do videos on uh, day in the life um, cleaning, parenting videos, um, hacks and tips. Uh, I will be doing some upcycling soon. We're moving house pretty soon, so there'll be a lot of that. And hauls, that kind of thing, really. So if that's your thing, please subscribe. Okay, so without further ado, um, question number one. Are you a stay-at-home mum or a working mum? So I am a stay-at-home mum. It wasn't going to work out like that, but it's a pretty long story to go into. Um, I had a bit of drama with my employer and I decided to leave the company. So I am now a stay-at-home mum. Would you have it... Sorry, question number two. Oh, get it right, Joe. Would you have it any other way? No. I wouldn't. I love being at home with my little girl and I just love seeing her day to day developing. Um, she's she's coming up for 11 months now and uh, it's just such a precious time. It really is. I mean, this, it's all changed with her now, you know, and she's standing, she's learning to walk and she's learning to talk and it's just all new. So and she's really got her character now as well. So I wouldn't have it any other way. I love her to bits and I love spending loads of time with her. I'm very lucky and fortunate that I can do that. I am aware of that. Uh, question number three. Do you co-sleep? No, I don't co-sleep. Um, I never have. I always had Evie in the first six months, uh, well, five and a half months actually, I had her in a Moses basket right at the side of my bed. Um, and it was level with my bed as well, so I could just reach over in the night and just put my hand on her if I wanted to, you know, and she was really close anyway, so I I kind of never had the need to um, co-sleep, uh, but I know a lot of people that do, and they love it, and it's whatever you're comfortable with, really. So I wouldn't ever knock it, um, and I would never say that I wouldn't try it, you know, so yeah, that was me. Uh, question number four, what is your must have item for your baby? Uh, oh gosh, uh, we bought, um, so in the beginning, in the beginning, uh, we bought, I was a bottle feed mummy, um, tried breastfeeding, but it didn't work for me. Um, that's a whole other story. So in the beginning we bought a lot of bottles and the ones that we settled with were the MAM bottles, M-A-M, I'm not sure if that's how you say it, uh, the anti-colic ones and they're absolutely brilliant. Uh, Evie has never suffered with colic and I put it down to those bottles, I really do. Um, they're so good. Um, they even self-sterilise in the microwave so they're brilliant absolutely brilliant i couldn't recommend them enough i love them so they're my must have uh number five how many kids do you plan on having so we plan on having two children um i'm from my mum and dad had two children together so and scott's mum and dad did as well so i think we you know growing up with one sibling is I think it's the norm for me, you know, and I, I want the same for Evie. I want her to have an old, uh, young, older, younger brother or sister, um, because I always had an older sister, and it it was lovely for me. So, yeah, one one more. 
that will be fine. Um, I'm 39 now, so I am kicking on a bit. <laughs> and I'm what they call a geriatric mother. Um, so I think one more would be fabulous. Question number six. Date night. How many nights per month? So we tend to have um, at least one date night a month. Um, either my mum or sister will come and um, babysit for Evie for a few hours or Scott's mum will. Um, we haven't done it... We haven't done it this month actually I think our last date night was February so I'm saying one a month but I think the last date night we had was February so mummies and sister you need to babysit <laughs> um no it's nice having uh them you know come and look after Evie I um and I, I think it's important for me and Scott to still have that alone time together um and just have me and him time as well really um because we're like best friends so it's it's nice and lovers so it's nice just having that kind of me him time um even if it is just for a couple of hours uh, out for a meal or something um but yeah usually once once a month but it has gone on a bit longer um so question number seven your child's favourite show. So at the moment, I say at the moment, she's always loved it. Oh my God, she loves Bing. It's a little black bunny and he has um, friends called Pando, who's a panda, and Sula, who's an elephant, and Flop is his, um, I don't know what Flop is, his guardian of some kind. He's like a, a kind of a stuffed toy type thing I don't know but he he walks and talks and everything um and he's got a cousin called Coco and a cousin called Charlie and it's just all about his adventures and things like that and he kind of teaches kids you know tells them how he was feeling and da 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 you know and all of this at the end but she loves Bing she absolutely loves it um she does like Teletubbies as well but Bing's number one and question number eight. Name one thing you bought before you had your baby and never ended up using. So I spoke about the mam um, bottles and um, the one thing that we bought and we never used was a bottle steriliser because the mam um, bottles sterilise in the microwave on their own. Um, so we've never had the need for a steriliser. We bought it and we didn't even need it. We actually bought a microwave one first of all um, and found out it was too big for our microwave so we had to take that back and get an electric one. And then we just never ended up using it. It was just a waste of money to be honest with you. I um, put it on a mum to mum market that I did when Evie was about three months old. Um, so yeah, that was it. Question... Nine, your child's favourite food. Okay, so at the moment she is loving hummus. I mean, loving it. If you follow my Instagram, you'll have seen a photo of her um, covered in hummus in on the stories uh, the other day. She was covered in it. She loves it a bit. She absolutely loves it. And she sits and she goes, nom, 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 nom. She actually makes a nom, nom noises. It's so cute. <laughs> And question 10, how many cars does your family have? So we've got two cars. We've got my car, which is a Toyota Aris, Aris. Um, and Scott has got a Nissan X-Trail. His car is a company car, um, which we're very lucky to have, really. Um, but yeah, we have two cars. He has got another car, actually, but it's on his mum and dad's drive. That's for some fancy sports car, Toyota GT4, I think it is. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's it. Two cars. Oh, hold on one second. I've got someone coming through the door. Right, sorry about that. That was Scott coming back from the shops. Um, right, question number 11. Weight gain before pregnancy 
during, after and now. That's right. Um, I think I gained about a stone and a half um, before and during. Um, I was all bump. I, I actually lost weight off of my legs and my bum. It was just all around my belly. Um, so I think it was around about a stone and a half. Um, I've and after I did put on weight after. Um, I think in total it's probably about two stone. Not not after. Um, so probably about another half a stone I put on. I don't know. Um, don't really weigh myself that much, but I have lost and I've lost nearly a stone in weight since then. So going well I'm, I'm getting married in august so it better go well um question 12 dream holiday with your kids so i think the dream holiday would be and i know a lot of people would probably say disney disney world or disneyland or what have you but i think my dream holiday with evie it would be when she's a bit older to appreciate it would be a safari i think that would be amazing and she would just love it seeing all the animals and you know oh, just be such a big adventure um so yeah i think uh, safari dream holiday without your kids um so it's really weird to imagine a holiday without evie now um oh gosh i think that's just scott coming back into the room shuffling away yeah. <laughs> i think um it would have to be Bora Bora. We've often um, looked at the photos and thought, haven't we, that, oh, wow, that would be amazing, um, Bora Bora. Yeah, but that's kind of a... I don't know if that would be too boring after a while, though, because me and Scott do like doing things, don't we, on holiday. Um, <laughs> don't be rude. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Bora Bora. Um, question 14. How has your life changed since your baby has been born? Um, oh, gosh. Well, my brain never switches off anymore. <laughs> I don't have a switch off button. Even when I'm asleep, um, I think my my ears are always on. On? <laughs> my ears are on for any noises. Um Oh God, and just so, oh, it's really like cheesy, but so much love, so much love, but not just for Evie, but for Scott as well. I didn't think that I could love him any more than I did. And I really, really, you know, God, it just feels over sometimes. It's just so wonderful. <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. You can pay me out 50 quid now. <laughs> <laughs> Question 15. Finish the sentence. It makes my heart melt to see Evie laughing with her daddy. I love I love hearing her laughing when he's um, mucking about with her. And, oh, she just giggles so much and it's lovely. It does make my, my, my melt heart. <laughs> my heart melt. Um, question 16. Where do you shop for your kids? So I tend to shop at mum to mum markets um second hand things while she's at this age she's growing so quickly that she just grows out of things too fast to even bother spending too much money um but i do look for the really good brand names um i've done a um baby clothes haul um so you'll have to have a look back on my channel and have a look at that. I've got some really good brand names. Um, but you can get them so cheap, like two pound fifty for a little bird item of clothing, or you know, fifty p for things and things like that. Um, I also like Lottie and Lish um, clothes. So uh, I did buy her coat from Lottie and Lish. Um, I'll spend a little bit more on coats, really. Um, and just the essentials like body suits and baby grows and things like that we get from Tesco's or Waitrose, um, those kind of places really. Um, question 17, what's your favourite makeup and skincare products? Um, my 
I don't really have a favourite makeup, but I have favourite makeup brushes, which are the Spectrum brushes. Brush, brush, the Spectrum brushes. Um, they're really lovely and pretty, and I really like them a lot. <laughs> um, and my skincare would be um, the, the there's a really good cleanser and toner from Lush, and I can't remember what it's called. Can't remember. No, um, so yeah, Lush products basically that's what I use for my skincare. Um, question 18 Huggies or Pampers? Pampers, definitely. I've never tried Huggies though, actually, so I can't really comment on Huggies. Question 19 Have you always wanted kids? Yes, I have. Um, I met Scott later in life. When did we meet? When we were about 35. Yeah. When we were 35. We're 39 now. Well, I am. You are in a few weeks. Um, and, yeah, I always wanted kids. But I never wanted to settle for just anybody, just to have kids. I wanted to find my Mr. Right, and I have. Um, it's another 50, please, Scott. <laughs> Question 20. The best part about being a mum? Um, I think it's seeing your baby grow and develop and just change every day. She's just turning into this wonderful little human being and it's just, it's beautiful to see. So that's my best, my favourite thing or my best part. Um, right, okay, so that is the 20 questions and I am now going to nominate these vlogging mummies so we have Tony Cool Cool K U E H L and she is from this mama vlogs M A M A vlogs Gail Russell and Cheryl Stevenson Gretch from Still Image Productions I nominate you to do the mummy tag. Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Take care, bye!